Are you in the club? Cars Toy Club and today we're doing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mega unboxing for you guys. We're going to be opening up the entire case of the Funko Pop Mystery Mini vinyl figures. We also have two different shredders to open up and show to you. And finally we have two different kid robot figures to open up and show to you. Now we're going to start this video off by opening our first Mystery Mini blind box. Now this is actually going to be the first time that I see one of these out of the box up close, but from the pictures that I've seen of these figures, the quality on them seems a lot better. They look a lot nicer than some of the other Funko Pop stuff that I've showed you guys here on the channel. But we are definitely about to find out. I'm wondering if it's going to be the same type of quality that we saw with the Kid Robot figures. And of course, we open up my favorite Ninja Turtle first. This is going to be Donatello if I can get the bag off of them. And yes, I can tell right away these figures look a lot better, a lot cleaner than some of the older stuff that I've showed you guys from Funko Pop. But, you know, one of the first things I noticed is right here, you can kind of see like some glue residue right there. So they're not perfect, they're not flawless, but the color on them seems like it's a lot more cleaner, like the paint's not bled over like we saw with some of the other figures. So that's actually pretty nice. I like how they positioned him. Of course, I say that and then he falls over in my hand twice, but on a flat surface, there we go. He stands up pretty nice. Now, just to give you guys kind of a comparison right here at the start of the video, I'm gonna show you the Kid Robot blind box, which we've done almost the entire case of these. I still have, I think about maybe five or six of these left. And here's a new one that we have not gotten into any of the other boxes. So this is going to be a Kid Robot. So here's kind of the difference between the Kid Robot figure and the Funko Pop Mystery Mini. And as you can see, the quality of these is about the same. In fact, I, I want to say the Funko Pop actually has a little bit more detail in the character. Maybe not so much in the face, but it has more detail in the body. So that's kind of neat. Now this one actually does come with a gun. And here is what I think is Bebop with his gun. And the reason why I say I think is because I always get Bebop and Rocksteady mixed up. Like I always get it backwards. But I'm thinking this is Bebop if I remember right. But there he is. I really like that figure though. That one looks really neat. Well actually let's set him right there in the middle. Let's go ahead and open up our next mystery mini. I cannot wait to see what Krang looks like. I was a little disappointed with the Krang that came out with the... Uh, the kid robot figures. I didn't like how they just kind of painted on the face of Krang on his on his stomach. Looks like we got Shredder for this one. Wow, now that looks really cool. Look at that. That might actually be one of the nicest Funko Pops I've seen yet. I mean, that thing is just really nice. It's got a lot of detail, a lot of little detail. It's got a lot of real fine color to it. The purple on the back here is just really bright. Man, that, that figure just looks great. That's Yeah, that's definitely one of the best Funko Pops that I've seen yet. The Guardians of the Galaxy set was also really nice. So it does seem like Funko Pops moving in the right direction with actually you know, making some better quality figures. Let's see what we got here. I say that because I was pretty disappointed with the uh, Disney Mystery Minis Series 2. I wasn't real happy with some of that stuff because that some of the coloring on those figures weren't the greatest. But these figures definitely took a next step up. I mean, these look great. And as you can see, you can kind of bend his size because it's not hard plastic. It's kind of like soft plastic. Now, as far as their heads moving, you cannot move their heads. So that's kind of one downside to these with the Kid Robot figures. Most of them, you can move their heads. I'm pretty sure we can't move, yeah, you can't move Shredder's head either. So you can't really pose these, unfortunately. And for our next one, we got Leonardo. <laughs> so 
He's got kind of a funny expression on his face. <laughs> it looks like he ate some some bad food or something, or he's in the process of eating some bad food, but his swords are a little tiny compared to what they normally, like I wish I had the kid robot figure right here so I could show you guys, but his swords look a little small, but outside of that, he looks really neat. And for our fifth Funko Pop box, let's go ahead and see, here's our Krang. And you know what, they did the exact same thing that Kid Robot did, is they just painted the brain on the stomach. They didn't actually make it a figure that's kind of just sitting in there. That's a little disappointing. I, I really wish they would have spent just a little bit more time with the detail actually making that a character that's resting or sitting inside of there instead of it just being, you know, like a <laughs> painted on sticker or something right there on his stomach. That's a little disappointing. Outside of that though, I do like the color red that they used for that. It's got a nice, it's like a glossy red right here and then it's a flat red right there. And it looks kind of like a flat red up here. So it's got almost two different types of red coloring to it. Now let's go ahead and open up the Donatello Kid Robot Ooze Action Glow in the Dark series figure. Now this one's actually different than the one that comes with the blind box. that comes out of the blind box set. So this one's actually a little different. The one big difference that I notice is his bow right here, which some of you guys were like, that's not a bow, it's a staff. A bow is a staff, it's what Donatello's weapon is called. But his bow actually has some ooze on it, as you can see right there in the front. And I think his facial expression's a little bit different than what it was with the Kid Robot character. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. But there's our Kid Robot Donatello. And here's kind of a comparison of the two. I definitely like the Kid Robot bow more than this. <laughs> it's pretty much like a stick that they gave him right there. That's what it looks like, it's just a stick. But they both have kind of a funny expression on their face. There's a look at the back with the shells. Which one do you guys like more? Do you like the Kid Robot Donatello right here on the right side or do you like the Funko Pop Donatello right here on the left side? I think I actually, I still like the Kid Robot a little bit more, but these seem like they do have a little bit more detail. Like you can actually see the lines in the front of his shell where as right here you can see it's just kind of painted on there. So that's one difference between those. And I actually was able to find my Kid Robot Leonardo. So here's our Leonardo from Kid Robot. This one right here is the one from Funko Pop. and. The Funko Pop just looks really tiny compared to the Kid Robot one. And as you can see, there's a lot of differences even in their shell. Like the shell is just a completely different shape altogether. And the Kid Robot's head is almost twice the size of the Funko Pop. If you look at their swords from the side, I really like that Kid Robot sword a lot more than the Funko Pop sword. This one's actually more of like a, it's a little bit more firm, whereas this is kind of almost like a rubberish plastic. So there's a, there is a lot of difference between these two. Go ahead and set those down. Let's go ahead and open up one more blind box from Funko Pop and then we'll open up our shredders. And then we'll finish off the case of the characters so that you guys can see hopefully all of the characters. I think we're gonna get all of them since we have the whole case. Now these are still pretty new. These only came out, I wanna say three or four weeks ago. And look at that. So here's our other, hopefully, Bebop and not Rocksteady. There's the difference between those two. It's pretty neat that we can actually compare these so that you guys can see maybe which one that you like more if you wanted to go purchase these. Now if you're wondering where I got the Funko Pop Mystery Minis or the Kid Robot figures, I did order both of them off of eBay. But I have started seeing more of this stuff in like bookstores. You might be able to find it in Hot Topic. They've been carrying a lot more of the Funko Pop stuff. So there's our Bebop. Now let's open up a shredder. So as you can see, we have two different shredders here. This is kind of the older one. This one right here is the newer one that was in the movie. Let's go ahead and open him up first. And here's our Shredder. And this one's actually, man, this is a really cool character. The cape right here, you can actually take the cape on and off, which is pretty neat. A lot of characters like these little 10 to 15, $20 characters that you can buy off the shelf, a lot of them don't have pieces that you can actually take off. His armor right here that goes down his arm, you can actually take this off too. So if he was doing battle with some of the Ninja Turtles, you can actually break pieces of them off 
and just reattach them back on. I don't think anything else really is supposed to come off, at least that I can tell anyways, but you can bend him in a lot of different ways. Even his foot right here will bend. I don't think you can take any of his armor on his head off, but these shoulder pads seem like they might pop off. But overall, this is a really cool Ninja Turtle character. He's definitely, to me, in my opinion, he's definitely a lot neater than some of the older figures. And let's go ahead and open up our older Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Now, this is the one from pretty much the TV show, I'm pretty sure. This one actually looks a lot different than the older Shredder as well. Unfortunately, I don't have one of the older Shredder figures to where I can show you guys all three. Let's see if I can get this off here. And one difference between this Shredder and that one is this one actually comes with a couple weapons. So you get his sword and you get these two throwing stars. The newer movie Shredder did not come with any weapons. So here is this Shredder and I'll have to say I'm a little disappointed with this one for a couple reasons. Number one, you can't bend his knees. So that, I thought that was really strange. Like you can't bend his knee. I, I, to me, that's just really strange for this type of a figure. Almost all figures like this, you can bend their knees. You can bend his arms a little bit, but they, they really don't have a good range of motion. It's, it's definitely a lot different than our movie Shredder back there. His sword doesn't really want to stay firmly in his hand. It just kind of jiggles around. And he also doesn't have a cape, so there's no cape on the back. So this one, in my opinion, <laughs> I don't know. I, you can rotate them at the waist, which this one, I don't think you can do that. Oh, you can actually, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you could do that when I was messing around with them, so you can rotate them. These newer movie Ninja Turtle figures just seem like they're way better than anything that's come before it, just because of the range of motion of the figures and the detail in them, and even the coloring on it. I really like the color of this, this gray color and the silver compared to this one right here. This one's just kind of got some flat colors on them. So definitely like the movie one more than the older one that came out a couple years ago. We'll go ahead and set both those down and let's open up our next Funko Pop Mystery Mini. And again, I'm thinking we're gonna get every character that's in this set. This looks like Casey Jones, yeah. It's Casey Jones with a bat instead of a hockey stick. I like his mask though, that mask looks really neat. I like how they give it kind of like a light blue shade to it instead of just making it a flat white hockey mask. That's a pretty neat character. And let's see what we got for our next one. And it looks like we got April. And this is the old April instead of the newer Megan Fox with the black hair April. So this is like the older April O'Neil. That's kind of interesting that they gave her that color hair instead of the newer black haired April O'Neil that was in the movie. Go ahead and set that down. And of course, my Donatello knocks over Shredder, who then knocks over <laughs> Raphael. <laughs> so go ahead and open up the next one. And this one, again, I'm guessing on this <laughs> Bebop the Rocksteady, I'm guessing, but I'm thinking this is Rocksteady. I think Rocksteady is the Rhino, if I remember right. And it again, it looks like his head should move, but it doesn't. And he's got kind of like the older style to him. Maybe this is kind of like the older style Ninja Turtles. I mean, even the Krang looks like the older style instead of the newer stuff. I'm also kind of curious, you know, I asked you guys which one you liked more, the Funko Pop or the Kid Robot Ninja Turtles. I'm also kind of wondering, what is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Here's our Foot Soldier. That one's pretty simple looking. I think I really, I like the uh, Kid Robot Foot Soldier a lot more than this one. So there's that. Go ahead and set him down. We're down to our final two blind boxes here. I say blind boxes. These aren't really blind boxes because you already know what you're going to get if you're going to buy the whole case. Of course, if you only buy one or two of these, then it would still be a blind box because you don't know which one you're going to get. And we got Michelangelo. Oh, wow. I really like this one. Look at that. I really like that one. The pose of this one, his weapon, the way he's holding his weapon, that might be my favorite one out of the Funko Pop series. Yeah, I did notice, though, pretty quickly, his, his bandana, the orange, is actually, 
you can kind of see the green coming through it a little bit it's not like perfectly flat orange but outside of that I really like that character let's go ahead and open up our final blind box here now if I had to guess <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one we haven't opened yet I can't remember which one it is that we're missing so okay it was splinter I'm like which one are we missing I couldn't remember and wow that splinter is actually really cool too you know some of these characters I really like and other ones I'm kinda like eh it's alright but this one this one I really like I, everything except for his stick I, I really wish they would have made their weapons just a little bit bigger like I wish his stick was just a little bit bigger or at least a little thicker instead of it just I mean it almost looks like a little tree branch <laughs> the way he's kinda holding it like that but Outside of that, I'll, ooh, that tail looks really neat. Look at that. They put a lot of detail on the tail. You can actually see the little lines in there. And you can actually see his, like, his little fingernails, too. So they did do some pretty fine, nice detail in this. His eyes look really neat. I've noticed that with the newer Funko Pop stuff, it's all kind of like printed on. And when it's printed on, it's, it's real sharp and clean. So they definitely changed some of the ways that they're, they're making these figures. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our Ninja Turtle video. If you did, be sure to press the like button and let us know if you want us to do more Ninja Turtle videos because we do read the comments and that does help us decide on what videos we do in the future. This is Disney Cars Toy Club and as always, thanks for stopping by.